we get into a discussion where tonight we're talking about uh, mental health. With us in studio is a counseling psychologist. Her name is Jane Jaggi, who has worked with schools and also worked in different uh, hospitals in the country, literally addressing matters mental health, among other issues. Talk to us across our social media platforms. That is at Y254 channel. You can also reach me at Patricia Muriuki. Before we dive uh, into the discussion that we are uh, have for today the areas that I would like you to address tonight, uh, Jean. Uh, this year's theme, uh, May is marked as a Mental Health Awareness Month, and this, the, this year's theme is Tools to Drive, which means providing practical tools that everyone can use to improve their mental health and increase their resiliency regardless of their personal situation. To start us off, uh, Jane, welcome uh, to our channel. It's the first time that you're having uh, you on Y254. Uh, when we talk about uh, mental health, sometimes people wonder, why is this conversation, every time we can hear mental health, we're hearing about mental health awareness, when can we say that mental health, uh, when can I define and say that my mental health is good? Because I believe that probably you get to get to that point in life. Okay. That's a good concern. Mm -hmm. um, you realize that mental health has not been held uh, at a very high level, mm -hmm. maybe in our country or maybe in African mm -hmm. can, uh, continent, mm -hmm. apart from the West. And having that in mind, many people have been suffering mm -hmm. mentally mm -hmm. and people have not been aware. Mm -hmm. Currently, we have heard of so many people committing suicide. Yes. Somebody has killed the wife, somebody has killed the husband, and all that it's because of mental unwellness. Because mm -hmm. when you do not know how to handle it, then your mind tells you that you can end it here. Mm -hmm. But that is not the end. Mm -hmm. Once you kill yourself, once you kill somebody, you leave other people in pain. Mm -hmm. So the pain is not only on your side. Like if a mother would lose a child through suicidal, that mother or father will keep on crying. Mm -hmm. Where did I go wrong? Mm -hmm. What didn't I do right? Mm -hmm. What happened all the way through? Mm -hmm. I never saw this coming. Okay. I didn't, and there are so many things that people talk about blaming themselves and all those things do not add up to anything because once it's done, it is done. Mm -hmm. So the best thing is to prevent. Okay. Uh, sometimes when, when, I, when you get to a point where you feel that you need certain help, that I need to talk to someone, I, I feel that probably you've been through depression, probably you've gotten to the point where you have attempted suicide or even thought about it because they say that uh, for someone who is suicidal, it doesn't mean that they have to do it. It is even someone who has probably thought about it. We know that trauma plays a role in making sure that your mental health is either on a positive note or in a negative note. So how can you tell us what is it that you can say uh, about trauma in terms of how it gets to affect our mental uh, health or how it gets to shape our worldview? Thank you, Patricia. I would want to talk... Um Trauma, it is something that happens, maybe you are not expecting. Mm -hmm. But trauma has also got a lot to do with our past stories. Mm -hmm. Maybe you went through something and uh, it was not taken care of. Mm -hmm. um, let's go to the grief. You've lost somebody and at that point, People don't see, and especially for children, mm -hmm. people don't see as if maybe children are mourning or something of the kind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they can even be denied to see the, the coffin or maybe to see the person who, who is already dead. And they think that maybe withdrawing them from that reality, it's it you, them. yes. Mm -hmm. But then this child will just uh, be withdrawn. And sometimes people may not realize that the child is withdrawn. Mm -hmm. Now when this child grows, and some of them may not even go for wrong, like I would give an example, there was a patient I was handling, mm -hmm. they lost a child mm -hmm. uh, who was in class 8, and uh, they lost the father. So when they lost the father, 
the parents never realized that the child was already affected, mm -hmm. who was the mother. The mother was also mourning, mm -hmm. the other daughter was mourning, mm -hmm. and everybody in the house was mourning. But this particular girl withdrew from everything. So she just kept quiet. She was, she could not pray, she could not do anything, uh, she just go to sleep and all that. Mm -hmm. Down the line, seven months, she found herself in the hospital. Mm -hmm. and. Um, the doctors could say that maybe the, the, the heart has enraged, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the kidneys have failed, mm -hmm. and all those things. But the bottom line of this child, it was depression that the child entered mm -hmm. when she lost, lost the, the father. father. So now for parents who are watching us tonight, or even for people who get to assess this um, interview or this conversation later, and you have children with you, how can our parents learn how to prob probably uh, let their children go through certain experiences? Because we've talked about parents sometimes would, will keep their children away from certain things, thinking that they're protecting them, but not aware that the trauma that you, the pain that you're feeling as a parent, even your child, even your son and your daughter are feeling it. So how can parents be able to bring their children, let them go through the process of uh, probably experiencing the grief and get to every stage with, so that we avoid having children being brought up who have a lot of childhood traumas in, in, in our society. Thank you. I would say that maybe when one is grieving even if they are parents, sometimes they may not be able mm -hmm. to help their members mm -hmm. to go through it. Mm -hmm. But maybe in that family platform, if maybe they identify a therapist, mm -hmm. that person will be able to help them go through it. Because mm -hmm. as an individual, if yes, I am a counselor, yes. But if I've lost maybe my child, I am also human, mm -hmm. so I'm also mourning. Mm -hmm. At that time, I also need another counselor mm -hmm. to support me. Mm -hmm. So everybody needs this support. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean because you are a therapist, you can do it to yourself. Mm -hmm. Remember when you are painting, you are painting. Mm -hmm. And the psychological pain, it is so painful. The pain that you feel when you cut yourself, mm -hmm. that is the pain that happened right inside. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's so painful, you just look at somebody seated but just crying. Mm -hmm. So when one is in that kind of a state, you need somebody else to help you go through it. Okay. Uh, we've had instances where probably, let, let's talk about our, our parents or either male or female who are in a, an abusive environment or probably it does not even have to be the parent probably you are a single mother you're a single father and for you to be able to make ends meet for your child you have to take your child and have them uh, be brought up by a relative and this child grows around a very toxic environment uh, their words said uh, parents are probably being abused whether it's uh, physically how does that get to affect a child's uh, mental health as they grow? Because most parents will say, I stayed for the children. Only for you to realize, as you are thinking you are staying for the children, those children are not happy themselves. So how can parents be able to take themselves away from uh, environments that are not fit for their children if they have tried everything, counseling, talking to people and all that, and they can find out that whatever it is that I have with this partner is not working. How do we now integrate the children in good environments? Now, children are a product of the marriage. Mm -hmm. When you are married and you have children, children are part of that family. They identify with the father, they identify with the mother. Mm -hmm. And the children are comfortable when they are seeing the two parents mm -hmm. being together, mm -hmm. when they are united. But then it happens when you have, when the relationship becomes abusive, mm -hmm. then there is a problem. Mm -hmm. The children will see it, mm -hmm. the children will feel it. Mm -hmm. When a man comes and he yells towards the wife, mm -hmm. the children are listening mm -hmm. and it is registering in their mind. Mm -hmm. Now there's something will happen to these children when they are grown up. Some of them, they may become abusive just as they saw in mm -hmm. there. Uh, in their marriage setup mm -hmm. or in their family setup mm -hmm. because uh, parents are the role model to the children. So whatever they are seeing 
it is also sinking in their minds. Mm -hmm. So it is also very easy for them to practice it mm -hmm. because they saw it happening. Mm -hmm. Now, f when the relationship becomes abusive, it is good for the couple to go for the therapy. Mm -hmm. Very important. Mm -hmm. If maybe you feel you cannot, don't go fighting, mm -hmm. just withdraw. Mm -hmm. Because if you cannot and you keep on fighting this person, you keep on, uh, you are not helping anybody. And if it continues, then you realize of cases whereby maybe they have killed each other, mm -hmm. or maybe they have cut somebody's arms, mm -hmm. or maybe the eggs. Mm -hmm. Even and the children. Yes. Themselves. Mm -hmm. And even the children, the others even go to an extent of burning the house when they are right inside so that all of them can die. Mm -hmm. Now instead of witnessing such agri scenarios, it's better to keep off. Okay. Uh, having talked about trauma, I would like us to talk about social media uh, bullying. Some people don't, some, I feel people really don't, um, uh, I've not come to the realization of the impact of uh, social media bullying. Uh, just recently, there was a there was a teenage uh, girl who took their life after a, a, a video went viral of them being um, uh, assaulted by the other girl. That is, they were beaten up, and people really laughed at her. And the comments that were on social media were, were comments just calling this a young girl very very bad names, and sh she decided to take her life because she could not deal with that. So how can people, especially the young people, because uh, they're the ones who are finding themselves in these platforms, how can they be careful in terms of what you put out there? Um, be mindful of the person that you want to say these things to, and also for them to understand that uh, doing that does not make them any better. So how can we be empathetic people? How can we also be people who are mindful of a stranger that we do not even know? Because most of the times when you, when you yell insults to people on social media, you, you don't even have a personal relationship with them. Yeah. You don't have a personal relationship with them. And, um, but when you hear of people talk negative about you, mm -hmm. it will affect you. Yes. Whether they know you or not. Because everybody wants to hear that everybody is good. Mm -hmm. And it's like they come even, they pat it to your back and it's like you feel mm -hmm. all it's well. Mm -hmm. But now this one doesn't happen. First and foremost, somebody may be going to social media to approve of herself. Maybe mm -hmm. she's coming from another background mm -hmm. which is more painful. Mm -hmm. And because of that pain, you think that maybe by going through social media, mm -hmm. people are going to say, well done, you mm -hmm. look beautiful, mm -hmm. and some, and mm -hmm. all those things. Mm -hmm. Now instead, people comment negatively. Yeah. Yeah. And so your expectations are not met. Mm -hmm. And out of that, you begin now to withdraw. Mm -hmm. What will happen to this person? The person was very active. Mm -hmm. They withdraw. Okay. After they begin to withdraw, they also withdraw from other friends. Mm -hmm. So when you realize that somebody is withdrawing, like if you are good friends, mm -hmm. all of a sudden I'm withdrawing, we are not talking, it's like you call me and it's like I am busy or mm -hmm. something of the kind, with so many excuses. That relationship already has developed some mm -hmm. concerns. Okay. Uh, let us, we'll take a very short break and come back to uh, deal with other issues that are remaining. we we'll take a very short break right here on Y254. We'll be right back. Uh, stay with us. Welcome back and thank you for staying with us on Y254 News Updates. Tonight we talk mental health tools to thrive how do you take care of yourself how do you make sure that literally you are good holistically financially mentally emotionally spiritually all those aspects that we know are out there that we need to keep on uh take it check in tabs talk to us across our social media platforms that is at y254 channel you can also reach me at uh, patricia morioki and if you're just joining us we're continuing with our conversation and jane i would like us to talk about um the kcse results are out the, on uh, 10th of this month and we've seen students being celebrated across the country mm -hmm. uh, we have the best students being carried and parents are very excited um, we have some have even been interviewed on TV and all that but I've always stopped probably to think about the student who did not make it and probably it is a student who they were wishing that they would also get themselves a very good grade but uh, they have not what really, what impact, what we can as a parent, instead of coming in as a parent and trying to compare your child to the 
child who is, who is doing better. As a parent, instead of coming and using very bad diminishing words that can probably uh, lead your child to depression and all that, how can now parents come in and try to make sure that they are, they are embracing their children regardless of the performance that uh, was received that is on Monday 10th? Thank you, Patricia. It's very important that parents, and especially for parents whose children never performed well, mm -hmm. those parents whose children performed well, they were out there rejoicing, yeah. partying, and all those things. Mm -hmm. And the children were very happy, mm -hmm. very encouraged. Mm -hmm. But then there is that child who did the form for, and the results were not favorable. Mm -hmm. And it's like everybody, it's like, what did you get? Mm -hmm. Sinjapata results bad. Mm -hmm. This because you are not proud of what you got. Mm -hmm. But I also thank God for our government. Mm -hmm. They have already seen that and they are saying that people can also enroll in these other TVET institutions. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That can also help them. Mm -hmm. It is important to note that nobody is useless. So you cannot say that somebody is useful because they only passed the exam. Mm -hmm. Even that person who failed, they are useful mm -hmm. because they also have other skills and um, there is something, mm -hmm. there is something they can do in life mm -hmm. that can make them end up. Mm -hmm. There are th so many things. It is not only the jobs that, the, the white collar jobs as they are known. Mm -hmm. There are so many things that one can do. Mm -hmm. You only need to realize what am I good at? Mm -hmm. What is this? Uh, what is this talent that I have mm -hmm. that can, I can make use of? Mm -hmm. When the parents realize that maybe this child of mine is talented in this direction, please support them that way, mm -hmm. because that person will become very useful and very helpful. Okay, uh, I'd like us to talk about community support, and as we talk about community support uh, in probably um, in mental health, what roles uh, probably you've come out to your part, to your family and you've told them that you're going through depression and all that. We know there is stigma. We've still not gotten to a point where people can sit down and understand that mental health has nothing to do with um, witchcraft. People still need, it's, it's, a, it's a journey, we have milestones that we've already made, but we know that we've not gotten to the point where we want to get as far as mental health is concerned. So I'd like you to talk about community support uh, in terms of breaking uh, the pattern of stigmatization. How can people embrace people? Even someone comes out and opens to you, whether it is your friend, whether it is a relative, that they're struggling with something. How do we embrace them? without being judgmental, because we're living in a world where the first thing people think of before they give you a piece of advice, they'll first judge you. So how do we look at it as a community without being judgmental? That's very important. In the first place, there is nobody will ever say that I'm depressed mm -hmm. when they are depressed. Mm -hmm. The people that say that I am stressed, I'm depressed, uh, normally they are never stressed mm -hmm. and they are not depressed. Mm -hmm. But a depressed person, we will never know whether they are depressed. Mm -hmm. It is other people who realize that this person is depressed. Mm -hmm. But before you get into that depression whereby you cannot understand yourself, mm -hmm. there is a stage whereby you feel you have a problem mm -hmm. and you try to reach out. Mm -hmm. And that is where now the community comes in. And somebody has come in and it's like they have shared whatever they feel. Mm -hmm. But what we do as a community, it's like we go and talk against that. I was told this by so and so. Mm -hmm. And so they gang up against that person. Mm -hmm. So when this person realized that these people had ganged up against, that is when people will move on and maybe commit mm -hmm. suicide. But on the other hand, it is also important to know to, to tell the right people. Okay. Because it is not everyone in the community is who is understand. going to help you. Yeah. So please, it is important for people to know that that's why we also have counselors mm -hmm. on board. Okay. Go to a counselor. Mm -hmm. Just pour out mm -hmm. what you feel you are going through and you'll get the support. Mm -hmm. You go to the society, to the community, to the people that, uh, maybe to your friends, but a friend will only become a friend when when things are okay. Mm -hmm. If your things are not okay, the, the friend turns against you and uh, they tarnish your name and there you are, mm -hmm. you are crushed. Mm -hmm. 
and you do not know how to wake up. Okay. It's like you wish just the earth to open and bury you mm -hmm. alive. Mm -hmm. And those are the things when the moment you realize that you want to get out of people, mm -hmm. then go for help. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when we talk about, uh, we, st we know COVID-19 is still here with us, the pandemic. There are people who have been affected in different ways. People have lost loved ones. Uh, there's someone who has probably contacted um, COVID it has, and it was really uh, tough on them. Uh, the people have lost jobs. When we talk about this year's theme, which is tools to thrive, what tools do you think, uh, without getting to the point where, okay, now let me go to the, to a, to see and see a therapist, what tools available to us? Uh, I'm, I'm seated in my house, I'm going through a difficult moment. In what way can I reach out to someone and say, hello, I need help? What tools are available for probably people going through certain experiences as we go through the yeah. pandemic? Thank you very much. Relax. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is difficult to relax, mm -hmm. but it is important to relax. Mm -hmm. Talk to yourself. Mm -hmm. Self-talk. Mm -hmm. What is this? Okay, I am going through this, mm -hmm. but what can I do to do better? Mm -hmm. What other option do I have? Where do I get help? Mm -hmm. So can I pursue that? Mm -hmm. Do not just sit and concentrate on the negative part of it. Okay. When you concentrate on the, when the energy, negative energy, it's too much, mm -hmm. that's when you get to depression. Mm -hmm. But when you are positive with the life, yes. We have seen people who have, who have lost jobs, yes. Mm -hmm. But they have gone and begun other businesses mm -hmm. and they are making it. Mm -hmm. However, it's not everybody who can do that business. Yeah. Uh, right now, some businesses are already flooding yeah. mm -hmm. because it's like everybody ran to that. Mm -hmm. So now you find yourself in another problem. You are on business, but you are learning losses. Yeah. And now that one, it's another now. If this one cannot, what else can I do? Mm -hmm. Which is this thing that I am good at? Mm -hmm. Because what I'm good at, it's not what you are good at. Yes, it is not what another person is good at. Mm -hmm. And recognize your strength. Okay. And maybe even from school, let every child realize their strength. Mm -hmm. When you realize your strength, you are able to move on. Mm -hmm. But even those people who have failed the exams, the moment they recognize their strength, they will go towards that. Mm -hmm. And they will succeed because that is what they can do best okay. for themselves. So what you're saying, what you're telling our viewers is that even if you find yourself in a difficult situation, don't dwell on the negative so much. Yeah. Try to look for the positivity out of it. Yes, yes. Uh, so let us, uh, as we come to the uh, closing of this interview, normalizing therapy. Uh, I saw somewhere that those who go for therapy don't have a problem. Those who do not are the ones like who have a problem. Just, it, it, it's just something that people are trying to bring, uh, to, to create so that people can embrace therapy. Because very many people feel that, hey, yeah, why, why should I go and tell someone my problems? Mm -hmm. I, I can be able to solve those problems by myself. Mm -hmm. But I, I feel I've been through a journey where I'm reading a different um, uh, pieces about uh, trauma, about therapy and all that, and the impact of all these things in someone's life. And I have realized that people who have gone to therapy, like those people are dope, like they, they are not perfect, but they, they are able to understand themselves in a certain way. So how do we get to a point where in Kenya, people can just talk about therapy like, Oh, by the way, on Sunday at 11, I'm going for the 11 a.m. mass. And someone says, oh, on Friday, I cannot meet you because I have my therapy session. So how do we get there? Yes, it's a journey. Mm -hmm. And we are still moving on. Yeah. Um, one of the things, the key thing for the counselors, before you become a counselor, mm -hmm. you have to go for the therapy. And mm -hmm. they are fixed. Mm -hmm. Several sessions that you have to go to. Mm -hmm. So once you begin to take the course and you also turn to go for the therapy, it's like, yeah, why? <laughs> so mm -hmm. then that one makes you realize mm -hmm. that everybody is resisting. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we've not been cultured mm -hmm. whereby that we value counseling. Yeah. But it is now through this awareness mm -hmm. when you think that you have got no issues that is the time you have issues. Mm -hmm. 
you'll be surprised when you think you're okay. Mm -hmm. You go under a therapist, the issues that you imagine, <laughs> there'll be so many. Uh -huh. So when you feel that you are needed assisting, you don't want to go for therapist, mm -hmm. then it's time for you to it go. is the time <laughs> that is the time deal okay. for those people who are getting married mm -hmm. they feel that they are in love and they cannot go for therapy therapy then one year down the line <laughs> shock on you <laughs> yes okay so please go for the therapy uh, okay so how can people probably for someone who is watching us tonight and they would like to reach out they they have been struggling with something or they're not even struggling with something because sometimes you're told you you don't you don't have to go for counseling or therapy when you only have a problem how can people probably be able to uh, to reach you if someone needs help in a different uh, area in their life how can people be able to reach you okay you can get me on maybe my through cell phone you can one can call mm -hmm. on this number mm -hmm. 0722 96 30 Four six. Mm -hmm. I repeat, mm -hmm. zero seven two two nine six three zero four six. Mm -hmm. You can get in touch with that number. Mm -hmm. We can do virtual. Maybe you are far and uh, you'd want somebody to support you, mm -hmm. or maybe it is the children's. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, now, we also have parents with issues with the children. Mm -hmm. Please, you can reach out. We can do virtual, mm -hmm. and uh, once you connect we will be able to do all the rest mm -hmm. yeah okay so transformation transformation in terms of i came in for therapy and this was my problem i was struggling with depression i was struggling with suicidal thoughts how is a journey because probably someone so that we don't leave this interview with people thinking that you will come today and see the therapist uh, day one day two and day three you're, mm -hmm. you're, you're perfect. As we close up on this uh, uh, interview tonight, what's the, what's the transform, transformation uh, journey like? Yeah, counseling does not go like uh, maybe today, tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, it is a journey. Mm -hmm. uh, you might be told that maybe you're going to have like five sessions or mm -hmm. six sessions, mm -hmm. depending on the issues that you're going through. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't do one day after another, like you take the medicine. Mm -hmm. This you have one day today, then tomorrow you'll have an. I mean, next week, mm -hmm. the other week, or mm -hmm. maybe after two weeks, mm -hmm. depending on how you work it out with your therapist. Mm -hmm. So people need to be patient. That is what yes, you're trying to tell us. Yes, they need to be patient, mm -hmm. and. Uh, once you're given some homework, please make sure you do it. Okay. There's homework <laughs> in therapy, guys. Yes, there is homework. <laughs> so so thank, you very, thank you very much, uh, Jane, for sharing that uh, with us. I'm sure that uh, I've also learned a lot. I'm sure even people watching us at home, uh, you've gotten some insight from this uh, topic you've had. If you're going through a, a challenging moment in your life, don't dwell so much on the negative. Try to look for something positive out of it. And let us normalize therapy. When you're calling your friends and telling them you're going somewhere to hang out that's what we're supposed to do calling our friends and telling them by the way i'm going to see a therapist it doesn't mean that you behold re redemption or something so <laughs> thank you very much so <laughs> yeah it's so period it is a strength so why don't you add that to some of the strengths that you have because i believe we all need help in a, in, in a certain way we all need help in different aspects of our lives thank you very much the, um, for being with us tonight my name is patricia Moriyuki. do have yourself a very good night enjoy the rest of our programming <laughs>